Good morning, welcome back to Shroud Stories. Today we're gonna to be going over how to prepare for your first surf contest. Today we're going up to do a board riders event for the Jax Pro. Uh, we're obviously representing Dana Point Surf Club, best surf club in the world. A little backstory on that. It all started, it all started in Australia. Um, they have different board riders for different cities and things like that and they all compete against each other and have a big countrywide title that they hold at Snapper Rocks and they all compete against each other and it's mostly just bragging rights against each city and things like that. But we're trying to make it into a global event where we have an event here on the West Coast, the East Coast board riders have an event on the East Coast and each side of the country competes against each other and then the winner of that goes and competes against there are other countries, I suppose, whether it's Brazil, yada, yada, yada. None of them really have board riders yet. That is to come, but we have gone over. San Clemente was the winner last year, and they went over and competed against Australia and uh, did pretty well, actually. So Team USA is killing it. But long story short, we're going up to compete against Santa Cruz, La Jolla, San Clemente, um, Ventura, all the different uh, cities around here. And I'm gonna go over a little bit of how I like to prepare for a surf event. And it all kind of starts the day before. So the day before I like to stretch, make sure I'm drinking plenty of water. And I always like to have a, a high carb diet, I guess. I think that's what it is, I don't know. But I like to eat pasta before my surf contest. It's kind of a ritual that my uncle liked to do before his events when he used to surf in the PSSA and the um, ASP back in the day. There's two different contest series that they used to hold back in the 90s. Um, obviously they are no longer, now it's just the WSL, but long story short, the ritual is lots of water, stretching, carb up, eat some pasta, have some salad as well. You gotta get those nutrients and things like that and then um, get your gear together. So today we're, we're looking at smaller waves. So we're gonna check the forecast the night before, figure out what kind of waves we're gonna be surfing. It's small Huntington Beach today. So I looked around at my quiver and picked out some small grovelly surfboards that are still gonna be high performance, still allow me to do the maneuvers that I need to complete. And uh, get your leggy. You always want a leggy. You don't want to be swimming and wasting time when you're in a heat because you only got 15 minutes to surf in that heat. So you really want to make sure you have all the time out the back waiting for a good wave. So, you know, you also got to understand the night before, figure out how long your heats are going to be, how many heats you have until the final, and really just take it step by step. You know, get all your gear together so you're not stressing in the morning, trying to gather your things and freaking out because you're going to have enough stress once you get to the event. You have a lot of people looking at you, cameras, judges, everything. So you really want to make sure you're really prepared the night before, eat well, get plenty of sleep, wake up early, start it over, do some stretches, drink some coffee, and um, eat, eat something in the morning too, because that helps with nerves a little bit as well. Now I'm heading up to Huntington. We are a couple hours early. I always like to show up early for an event like this too. For any surf contest because it's good to paddle out before your heat go get in the water catch a couple waves rinse off the morning wake up a little bit and get your feet in the wax and get moving um, so that way your first wave in the morning isn't during a heat you know ideally you're gonna be ready to go have your strategy dialed in and uh, be fully awake and ready to ready to get shreddy <laughs> so now you're showing up to the event, let's say, and you're gonna post up. I like to post up far away from everybody. I like to post up in the corner, set up my umbrella, get all my stuff all dialed out, kind of get, be in a clear headspace. When you're in the contest scene and you're right there with everyone, there's a lot of talking and announcing and music and things going on that stress you out and don't let you think about exactly what you wanna be doing during your heat. So I like to sit far away so I can watch the waves, figure out where I want to sit, look at where the best waves are coming in and what maneuvers I want to be doing on those waves. Another good thing to be doing is watching a full heat from start to finish, ideally a couple heats start to finish, and 
watch each surfer, judge it yourself, think about who you would pick as the winner and why, what maneuvers they did to win that, and then go over and see how you your judging compares to the judges of the event. Every judge is gonna be different, every event's gonna be different, all the waves are gonna be different, and you kinda of wanna just set yourself up so that you know what you need to go do in order to win each heat. And like I said earlier, take it step by step. Think about each heat as a win. If you win each heat, you're going to advance. Now, if you think of the big picture winning the event, you're gonna get stressed out and you're gonna be thinking about too much. If you think about each little heat as an event in and of itself, you're gonna be climbing the ladder all the way to the top. Now, you really wanna just stay focused and be ready to take a loss. Sometimes it happens. You can't win everything. So just be prepared, do the best that you can. And most important thing that I've always heard from everybody, whether it's Mike Parsons or Dino and Dino or Vinny De La Pena, anyone that I've talked to that surfed in a bunch of events, most important thing is have fun. The judges want to see you having fun, catching a lot of waves, and surfing well on those waves. So if you're doing that, you're going to do something right. And then at the end of the day, you can tell yourself, well, I just had fun in the water with four guys out. So that's killer. You're stoked. We're going to sit in this traffic here, make our way up there, and uh, see you guys down on the beach. Yeah, Ryan talked to me after me. Cool kid. He was always like super chill. Oh, are you filming? I saw you back there. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the and and the earbuds on top of it. It was great. All right, so we made it down here to the beach. As you can see, I don't have many people around me, but I'm close enough to the event to still hear what's going on. Um, and now, I mean, it's foggy, so it's tough to see, but. I'm kind of been sitting here watching the lineup and where I'm going to be sitting and what waves look like they're better waves, whether it's lefts or rights or closer to the pier, further from the pier, kind of just gauging where I'd like to be. You know, things are going to change with the tide and the winds coming up here as well. So, you know, you're just kind of always going to be adjusting as far as conditions go, but generally it's going to stay the same for the most part. So I'm also kind of gauging to see what other people are riding like surfboard wise. Um, to try to see which board I'm going to ride. Obviously, I'm going to suit up here in a moment and go for a surf off to the sidelines here so I can get a feel for the waves and the, what's going on out there uh, and try both boards as well just to really get my feet going in the boards and see how they work. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to get settled in. Like I said, get here early, cruise, relax, low stress. So. All right, so I just went, washed off the cobwebs a little bit, as I like to call it, and uh, just got wet for a little bit. You don't want to tire yourself out and surf for too long, so it's good to just jump in the water, get a few waves, get your legs moving, the blood flowing, and then uh, hop out. Now I'm going to do some studying and watch these heats before mine, see what waves they're picking, see what mistakes they're making, and uh, try to better that. So now we just hurry up and wait for the heat and wear, uh, wear my electric shades. Bam. Electric's got you covered for all summer long. Oh, by the way, 
Colton15 at checkout, electric.com. You get 15% off for all you Shroupers, so go check it out. Fuel. Just finished up the contest, just made it back home, and uh, yeah, we had a fun day. Uh, like I said before, the contest is a team format, so we have four surfers that we had to surf, and they actually ended up cutting the time from one hour heat to 35 minutes. So we had to surf all four surfers in 35 minutes, get the best score that we could, and uh, tag the next person to go in. So. It makes it really tough having that limited amount of time. Oh, and also, yeah, the, the waves deteriorated super, super bad. So it wasn't the best day. Um, I prepared the best I could. I ate good. I slept good. I made sure I had water. I did all the things that I could possibly do. Um, I obviously forgot sunscreen. So bring sunscreen. <laughs> but uh yeah, sometimes we prepare the best that we can and it doesn't always work out. You know, individual contests typically go different ways uh, because it's all based on yourself rather than other people too. Um, so the more you prepare for yourself, the better off you're going to be. You can't guarantee what other people are going to be doing or thinking or anything like that. So all of it's on you. Um, do the best that you can. But yeah, we had a fun day hanging out at the contest. Got out of work and got to go kick it at the beach all day. So you can't complain there. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in to Shroud Stories and uh, tune in next week. I think we're going to have a little special for you guys. Maybe we'll have a chat with Timmy Patterson or maybe we'll drop another banger edit like the last one. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, hit us up on Instagram if you want to see more daily content. We are, me and Connor are always doing some random stuff. Stay tuned for more Shroud Stories. <laughs>